Hello Year 9 students and Year 9 parents and carers. Mrs Patamore here talking to you about the Level 1 and 2 Vocational Award in Hospitality and Catering. As you can see it would be me that would be taking the course um, and Miss Banks would be supporting in her DT technician role. There are two units within the course. Uh, unit 1 which is a 40 uh, um, which is 40% of your grade um, and that is externally assessed at the end of year 11 um, and that is an exam on the hospitality and catering industry. We start with unit 2 in year 10 and that's looking at the industry in action um, that consists of a time plan, um, a four hour uh, practical task that they have to cook um, and then the coursework that goes alongside that. As you can see, these are the two units in a little bit more detail and some of the topics that are covered. Um, again, we're looking at nutrition, menu planning and their ability to cook and use different techniques with different commodities um, within the unit two. And then unit one is more about the industry, um, about job roles, about operations with kitchens and uh, hospitality um, establishments. Here you can see um, a year 10 student in action. Um, we have the full um, kit, so they wear the chef whites and the aprons for their lessons. Um, and it's very much a practical course where they are looking to build independent skills. As you can see here, there's some example of some of the food that year 10 have cooked from September to December this year. Um, variety of commodities and a variety of um, techniques and skills involved using, using different cooking methods as well. They also get great on their presentation, um, so that's why we photo everything they cook. Having a look at the gradings, um, I'm sh this PowerPoint shows you the how they equate to the GCSE grades. So um, a level one pass is equivalent to a grade two or three, a level two pass is a four or five, and if you want to go on to do level three courses like A-levels or level three vocational courses, then they need to achieve at least a level two pass. The level two merit equates to a five or six. The level two distinction is the seven, eight, and we do have a level two distinction star, which equates to the grade nine in GCSE. Um, students will cook once a week where they are expected to bring their ingredients into school. They will be given recipes. Um, they will obviously use equipment um, in school. However, they might need some dishes and obviously containers to take things home with them. Uh, once a week, they will also have a theory lesson. Um, they will have to provide a folder for their work. Uh, sometimes we do work on the computers and in the library. Um, so this is an example of some of the year 11s that have cooked their uh, four hour practical task where they cook two courses. So they choose to either cook a starter and a main course or a main course and a dessert. And they have four hours to dovetail their recipes and cook those and present them um, for one person. So it's a serving for one person. And as you can see, there's a variety of techniques um, involved here. And it's very much about presentation as well for the finishing dishes. And they would do that usually January, February of the year 11. So in the second year of the course. Here's an example of uh, the cooking plans that they're given. So we start off um, looking at fruit and vegetables and uh, we're looking at knife skills and their ability to use the hob and to use the oven um, and to look at pastry and different flavors. We then move on to look at meat and their ability to uh, debone uh, chicken. Um, we also look at filleting a fish um, and they look at different techniques within um, puff pastry and being able to do shoe pastry and pasta. Um, then we have a look at eggs and the role that eggs can play in cooking um, and we have a look at accompaniments because when they have to cook their, um, their exam they have to cook a main course with an accompaniment alongside it, usually bread in order to get a higher grade. So those are the sorts of things that they would be working with um, within their cooking lessons. 
Again, this is the techniques and commodities, and the more they can use these and show these in their exam, the, the higher the grade they will get. So if they can show lots of techniques within preparation, cooking, um, and using different commodities, um, they will reach those merits and distinction levels. This is why we try and practice as many different um, recipes throughout year 10 as we can. The proof is in the pudding, um, pardon the pun. Um, I've got a couple of quotes here from some students that have taken their hospitality and catering course. So this is Amelia Herrett. You should choose hospitality and catering because it gives you life tips and lessons. It allows you to be prepared for adulthood when you leave school and become an adult. You will know how to cook various meals and snacks so you'll be able to survive and keep healthy. Um, Aidan Griffiths in Year 11, in hospitality and catering, you get to cook lots of dishes and learn about nutrition and how to be healthy. And Corey Williams, also in Year 11, lessons are fun because they are very interactive and hands on. And just from me, just to let you know that over the past couple of years, students who've taken the course of the students, sorry, 80% um, of them have achieved their highest grade in hospitality and catering. So we do um, perform well. Requirements. If you choose to do this course, there is a cost involved. You will be expected to bring ingredients once a week and it does tend to equate to approximately about five pounds a week. Obviously some weeks will be cheaper and some weeks will be a little bit more expensive, especially when we move on to meat dishes. Um, students will be required to adhere to health and safety and hygiene rules within the kitchens. Um, obviously things like hair ties back, making sure they're washing hands, etc., cetera, um, is going to be essential. Um, they need to be willing to try and work with a variety of commodities. So that is with meat, that is with fish, that's with different things. And they need to be able to taste those dishes as well. They need to be organized because they will have to make sure they have their ingredients each week um, and obviously organizing their theory work within folder as well. They need to be willing to clean up after themselves. Um, obviously they will find their kitchen area um, clean and tidy and they need to make sure that they leave it in the same way that they would like to find it. And um, they need to be willing to help others as well. So obviously we're quite a good community within the kitchen. Um, we help and support each other around the rooms. Um, and they need to be determined to learn and achieve their best. Uh, students will need to be independent and uh, they will find the lessons fun. Um, if they decide to move on to further education, there's a variety of courses they could look to do um, for a Yeovil College. Um, like I said, if they achieve the level two um, in the hospitality and catering course that we provide, they could then go on to do a level three. Um, at a Strode College, they provide um, a variety of apprenticeship opportunities um, within hospitality and catering. Um, so that's all the information on the course from me. If there are any questions, feel free to email me. It's claire.patamore at kingarthurs.org.uk. Thank you very much.